Well, Edward Snowden's revelation of the NSA surveillance programs have given Americans proof that the government is collecting information and data on its own citizens. He revealed PRISM, the NSA spy program that's used to monitor internet communications, searches some of the largest technology companies like Google, Microsoft, Facebook, and more. Plus, he released documents showing the government collects metadata on all Americans' phone calls. These revelations raise serious questions about Americans' Fourth Amendment rights, which guards them against unreasonable search and seizure. But as reporters who use Snowden as a source here call for their own prosecution, the First Amendment rights of free and open press are also being called into question. Well, for more on this, I'm joined now by CEO and President of Free Press, Craig Aaron. Hi there, Craig. So do you think that the treatment of Snowden, uh, his treatment that we're seeing now, is it going to have any impact on journalists or whistleblowers coming forth in the future, do you think? Well, absolutely. I think that there is a major chilling effect if you talk to any investigative reporter trying to cover national security, trying to cover matters of national importance they'll tell you their sources are starting to clam up because not just because of Snowden but because of the repeated attacks on journalists for doing their jobs the prosecution of whistleblowers it's becoming a lot harder to get information about what the government is doing now we have these blockbuster revelations which raise huge questions of first amendment rights fourth amendment rights but i think for reporters and the press uh, there's a lot of concern about are they going to be able to get these stories and what kind of risk are they taking just to do their jobs as journalists. Okay. Well, I want to bring you now to something that you said. I've got a quote from you. Um, you said that our rights to connect and communicate are in serious jeopardy. I'm assuming that you meant that in regards to the revelations of the NSA scandal. How so, Craig? Well, you know, I think you can just look at the evidence that's been revealed in the Snowden revelations and other recent stories. You're seeing a massive dragnet sweeping up data for all of us, our phone calls, records of who we called, when we called them, and where we were when we made those calls. Our Internet activities are being swept up by these massive computers uh, where the government can look in them at any time. I think this goes beyond anything we've seen before in terms of the basic communications of Americans being monitored and watched. And we haven't yet gotten real answers about why this is happening. We haven't truly had that public debate. And I think that's it's very concerning. And I think our First Amendment rights, freedom of the press, are absolutely part of this. We need reporters out there on the beat doing their jobs, finding out and printing things that the government would actually prefer we don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, on Monday, Craig, the Washington Post editorial bo board wrote that Snowden's leaks should stop. And they said, quote, I want to take you to one of their quotes. The first U.S. priority should be to prevent Mr. Snowden from leaking information that harms efforts to fight terrorism and conduct legitimate intelligence operations. But the Post then published the leaks, the leaking information that supposedly harms efforts, harms these efforts. Why does the editorial board and the news side of the Post, why do they have such differing opinions? Opinions. Well, I guess the, the positive version is, well, at least the editorial side isn't telling the news side what to do. Uh, and otherwise, we wouldn't have these stories. So that's the good version. I think the less, the, the bad version is we're seeing this whole wave of what I call journalists against journalism starting to come up. People who are defending this administration and attacking those putting out the stories. I think that's a real concern. That doesn't mean Mr. Snowden shouldn't answer. He was a government employee. He gave information that a way that he wasn't supposed to. I think he should answer answer for that, but to take that to the level of espionage, to take it to the level of downing the planes or, or, or preventing the planes of flying of foreign leaders, I, I think that's a whole different question and one that needs to actually be debated in public. I think there's a lot of real concerns. I was very disappointed in the Post editorial stance uh, because I think the real story here, and put Snowden aside, is massive NSA surveillance and spying on the American people. That's what we need answers mm -hmm. for. Certainly. All right. So we've heard for calls of the arrest of journalist Glenn Greenwald uh, for the way that he published the stories given to him. Do you think that he leaked that, that he published those leaks responsibly? Uh, based on everything I know, absolutely. I think that, you know, we should be thanking Glenn Greenwald. He did what you're supposed to do. Find sources and report the news. That's what journalists do. That's what reporters do. We'll learn more about Snowden's revelations as this story develops. But I think it's very clear that Glenn Greenwald and his colleagues, as well as the Washington Post, McClatchy and others, they're furthering this story and they need our gratitude. And they're doing what journalists are supposed to do, printing information the government doesn't necessarily want. 
want in public. That's the job of any journalist paying attention to national security. And I think all of us should be glad that people like Glenn Greenwald are doing that kind of work. Otherwise, we wouldn't really know the scale and scope of this spying operation. Okay. We just have moments left here, Craig. One final question. The media's narrative, they seem to be covering every aspect of Snowden himself, but not the real story of the NSA. Why do you think that is? I think it's an easier story to tell. I think it doesn't actually threaten people in power. I think the real story, though, what is, what is going on? How is this massive surveillance happening? That's the story the American people need to know. They've gotten pieces of it from The Guardian. They need a lot more reporters paying a lot less attention to what Snowden had for lunch and a lot more attention to this spying program. Craig, really appreciate you weighing in. We have to leave it there. That was Craig Aaron, president and CEO of Free Press.